Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Oh My God, Your Head's Gone, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a method that lets you solo duplicate any cars you have in your garage. So if you have a Bugatti in your garage, you can duplicate it over and over again. You could have 10 Bugattis in your garage if you wanted to. Uh, of course, the Bugatti would be the Truffade adder in-game, but uh, you can do it with any car at all. So any car in your garage, you can duplicate, and I'll be showing you guys how to do that in this video. Alright guys, so to start off, I recommend you do this in an invite-only session. The reason I I recommend this is because in a public session there are points where you're vulnerable and a random person that feels like blowing you up could end up messing up the entire glitch for you so once you're in your 10 car garage and then you're about ready to go you want to make sure you have one car in your garage that uh, that you don't mind losing so in this case I have the LG R8 the LG RH8 is obviously a free car and thus I don't lose anything at all when I replace it uh, so it works perfect for this actual glitch so I recommend you guys use the LG RH8 just buy one from the site uh, to fill in the 10th position and that's going to be the car that you replace so next you want to get into the car that you want to duplicate so in this scenario the car I'm using is the Garati Carbon Zero. once I'm in it I just want to drive out of my garage and then the next thing you want to do once you're actually out of your garage is park it on the nearest curb so right here I just turn to the left and uh, and I park it on the curb here uh, with two tires on the road I don't know if that makes a difference I don't think it does I've had no issues with doing it like this and then you want to steal a car off the street so the first car that comes by is this random piece of shit and I pick it up and put it in my garage uh, remember guys you cannot pick up any cars that are too hot so like I think the car behind me right there actually would not have been able to drive into my garage so obviously you just want to make sure it's a low value car drive it in and it's going to ask you to uh, replace one of the cars so what you want to do is replace the car that you just drove out so I just drove out the car bombs there I'm going to replace that one and then once you do that and you see the new car spawn in you want to turn right around and go back outside and get back into your carbons there or whichever other car that you're doing this glitch with that you just parked outside of your garage so I go outside of my garage now and my carbon zero is there but it's spawned across the street uh, which is kind of weird but anyway so get into the car and then you want to try to drive it in and it's going to tell you that your garage is full so what you want to do at this point right here I'm gonna freeze frame it is press B and A at the same time on the Xbox or O and X at the same time on the PlayStation 3 so once you've done that what's gonna happen is your car is gonna kind of turn invisible uh, so right here I went into third person perspective no idea why but uh, my car is now invisible so what you want to do is just drive where I'm driving right now and once you get to this point your car should reappear so it should turn from being invisible to actually being back again next you want to drive back to your garage once you guys are back at your garage, you want to drive in front of it and then stop around here. You don't want to drive it right in. You want to walk in instead. And this is where the game gets really glitchy. Once you walk in, it's going to ask you which car you want to replace, even though you just walked in. So it's kind of weird, but uh, it's part of the glitch. So uh, what I do is I replace the car I drove in off the street. So the Surge is a car I drove in. Find the name of the car that you drove in off the street, the random cheap car, and then replace it. That car is going to appear. Uh, again, the carbon zero is back there now, and then what you want to do is turn around, go outside of your garage again, and another carbon zero is going to be there. So there we go. Now I have the duplicated car. I can also drive this car in, uh, and this is when the LG R8 kind of comes into play. I'm just going to drive this car into my garage, and then I'm going to replace the LG RH8, and that's it. I'm going to have two of whichever car I wanted to duplicate in my garage. So in this case, I'm going to have two Grati carbon zeros. Uh, remember, guys, though, these cars are only tracked right now. So right. At this point, I replaced the LG RH8. Both of these carbon zeros are only going to be tracked cars, but you can go to Los Santos Customs and insure them again. So it's going to cost like 30k or so. Uh, I'll even show in a second here uh, that I go over to Los Santos Customs and I insure them both. And there you have it. You can duplicate any car in your garage like this. You can do it with the highest end cars as well. Uh, I just chose to duplicate the carbon zero because it's actually my favorite car. I really like the way this car drifts. But anyway, so yeah, that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like down below, uh, comment something, and subscribe today to join the Headless Army. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm out. Peace out.